step right up to the greatest show on earth. Usually when I tell people I'm going to my circus class, they're like, oh, are you, are you a clown? <laughs> No, not a, not a clown. <laughs> Laura Burghardt, archaeologist by day. Yeah, I sit at a desk for most of the day when I'm not doing field work. It can be very stressful. And aerial acrobatic on her days off. I was looking for something physical to do rather than just going to the gym. And so I found circus classes. <laughs> Enter the Circus Academy of Tucson. Acrobatics, trapeze, tightrope, and whatever this move is. Circus is really inclusive because you really try to find like your own personal strength. A method longtime circus performer Catherine Tesh has built her academy around. Sometimes I think in life it's really hard to get that sense of like reward or accomplishment like at work or at school you feel like oh I'm never getting like praise. And so it's really exciting to be able to do things that people are really impressed when they watch you. <laughs> Not a three ring circus, just a wide open warehouse. No actual clowns here, but still plenty of laughs. People just have different ideas about what circus is, but when they see it and when they figure it out, they're like, oh, that's pretty cool, actually. 